Welcome to another new episode of Cool Sight. In this video, we will discuss how we can clone a WordPress website. You may wonder why you want to clone a website. Mainly, cloning is done to create a copy of your website. And suppose you want to make a new website with similar features, you can just edit on it. And if you want to move it to a new host, cloning is something like making a duplicate copy. This is a fresh website which is uh, named SureCaches.com which don't have any features. You can see it is just connected to the WordPress only. We can look at the post. There is no post. Only the sample template post is there. And we can check the dashboard. Nothing is there. And uh, I will show you how we can clone a live website to this web address. Okay, you can see the post. Only the hello world post only is there and uh, this sure caches website will be modified by cloning and uh, you can see that uh, the web address is there sure caches.com and don't have any kind only the welcome page by default of the wordpress is there this is my live website which is active which is having many pages and uh, having a show page and uh, many things which is uh, live and active so this website i am uh, trying to clone to this sure caches website there are two methods by which you can do it one is by using a plugin and, and here i will show you how we can use the plugin you have to see you have to add a plugin for this you have to search in the plugin search bar called migration when you type migration few websites will few plugins will pop up and in that the first one the all in one wp migration we are going to use you have to install it by clicking on it and once installed you have to activate it then our click for activation and uh, once activated this blue button will change to white I have uh, the, the plugin is already installed you can see it in the list and uh, now you see on the left panel the plugin name will be there you just click on the all in one WP migration plugin and there are three options in that export import is there in that now we have to export you have to export the data from this website to another website so you click on export and on export export you have to export to file you click on it and it will start preparing for export the process will take from 10 to 15 minutes depending depending on your website uh, uh, website load that is if your website is very big then it will take more time if it is small it will do within one or two minutes and it is still preparing it will go through few processes and uh, you will uh, once it is ready it will ask for downloading and you press on download it will download in the left corner you can see this is the downloaded file and this file is uh, now prepared by this plugin okay now you have to go to the target website and here also you have to install the same plugin same process you have to type migration in the box and the plugin will pop up and then you have to install the same plugin same process what we have done before once installed you can activate the plugin and when you go to the left plan panel you can see that the the name will be there all in one wp migration will be there you click on it but this time remember you have to import it not to export you have to import you have to click on import and it will ask uh, import from then you have to click on the file and then you have to choose the same file which you have downloaded before both the download file either you can drag it or you can just upload it whatever it may be and it will uh, in this way it will start lo loading now you can see there is a pop up telling that there is a limit it is showing only 8 MB can be uploaded so there is also a, um, a line showing what is the remedy for this in this when you click on it a blog will appear and there are few options given in the blog 
and the easiest one showing is a premium update to premium so if you want to load multi large files then you need to go for a premium version and you see the premium charge is 69 dollars and if it is affordable you can do it and you can get the uh, cloning done suppose if you there are some few, few three four other options are there which i didn't try in my case i didn't do it because i am not ready to go for a premium version then we will see the second option how we can do it that is the mother two is using the c panel you are having a hosting platform where you have hosted your uh, uh, domain go to the same domain and uh, just click on in my case is domain register and the option is like this you go to my services click on it and to open up the uh, domain hosting and then you click on it on the right side you can see that the c panel has opened up you can see login to the c panel you go to the c panel click on it and go to the bottom and uh, you can look for yeah in the world you can see you can see for softaculous app installer in that the wordpress is there you can see in the bottom the wordpress emblem is there you just click on it and the wordpress will open up and on the top you can have to click on the the uh, this thing and the, uh, the wordpress uh, site details will open up here you can see my first uh, website the live website lifecaremedia.com is opened up you click on it on the cloning there are a few small small tab on click on the cloning one and once it open up you remove this wp from the address you can choose the address which you want you now by default your second website address will show second domain address will show you should have two domains to work like this because your second uh, domain should be ready then you click on it clone clone installation once you press on it make sure that uh, you are pressing on the right uh, this thing you just uh, press on the clone ins. in this case an error page has opened up because um, there it will uh, it will open up if there is some errors and you can see in the bottom there is a checkbox and when you click on the checkbox you can have option to do it again you click on the checkbox and do the cloning once more you press on clone installation and it has started cloning again this time it will not show error and it will open up the cloned page you see it is progressing yeah your cloned page is ready you will just come congratulations installation was cloned successfully and you click on the web address of the new website and just click on it and it will open up yeah, you see the web address it is now surecaches.com the heading will be the same everything will be same content everything will be seen now you have to manually edit the pages to make it as your second edited or as your second website you see everything is there the shop it is having pages it is having that type shop page and uh, everything is there so this is the easiest way to clone a website and uh, you can see the website is working very well only requirement is you have two domains to work like this thank you for watching the video